first presenter today is Senior Sergeant Ian Norris, Heavy Vehicle Enforcement and Road Safety from the South Australian Police. A police officer with South Australian Police for 37 years, Ian is passionate about heavy vehicle enforcement and road safety and has spent many years in the heavy vehicle enforcement section. This section was formed to monitor and enforce road safety compliance throughout the heavy transport sector. The section also provides proactive detection and enforcement as well as reactive response to incidents, supporting other SAPOL operational police, uh, such as major crash investigation section uh, with technical knowledge and skills specific to the heavy transport regulatory requirements. Ian's current role includes regular consultation with the Department for Transport, Energy and Infrastructure, interstate police jurisdictions, industry organisations and various committees and working parties relative to the National Heavy Law. Ian has been awarded the National Police Service Medal, the National Medal and the SAPOL Police Service Medal. Please join with me in welcoming Ian. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, come and speak today. I want to cover a, uh, a number of areas and we'll probably move around a bit so if, if I uh, confuse you or lose you please say so. Uh, get me back on track because there's a lot of interrelationship between light vehicles and heavy vehicles and I've tried to tailor this to, to meet both needs. First of all uh, we'll talk about uh, road safety and how people off the road have a responsibility in managing road safety and how they can influence road safety. So the key things to take from this is any actions or inactions or demands made by certain people can have consequences on the road and we want to address that. Also we'll have a look at uh, some of the impacts that driving behaviour on the road may uh, have on organisations and how it will affect you. What I would like you to take away from here is that uh, everyone has a role in road safety. Um, so I'll introduce our next speaker, um, Matthew Layson, uh, Manager Safety Vehicles and Technologies, um, Department of Planning. Whoops, there we are, thank you. Um, Department of Planning, Transport and Infrastructure from the State Government of South Australia. Uh, Matthew is project managing the State Government's steps towards the future of driverless vehicles through the delivery of the first conference and on-road demonstrations of driverless cars in the Southern Hemisphere this November. Matthew's current role includes the design and delivery of road safety policy in South Australia in the genres of safer vehicles and safer speeds. Matthew has a strong history and knowledge of automotive and intelligent transport systems and has achieved success in the management of both heavy and light vehicle fleet management within the state government. Uh, the successful fleet management and implementation of several safety focused interventions earned the department the prestigious AFMA Fleet Safety Award for 2009. Can you please welcome Matthew. Thanks, thanks Lee for those kind words I wrote myself. Um, driverless cars, the world of driverless cars is certainly a, a very exciting thing. Um, there's lots going on, uh, particularly lots going on in South Australia. Um, we're leading a number of um, exciting initiatives, uh, uh, starting off with the event in um, uh, November 4 and 5. Uh, I wanted to come along today, just have a talk um, a little bit about what's just around the corner with driverless cars and to give the fleet managers of the room a bit of an understanding about not, what, not what's in the future in 20, 30 years time, but what are we going to expect in the next five or 10 years and what's going to impact on us. A few of the takeaways from today. Um, uh, get a bit of an understanding on that the future's now. Highly automated vehicles are on the roads today um, and how they operate and uh, talk a little bit about the many challenges ahead. Um, uh, driverless cars, there's so many, so many issues to be worked through, whether that be legislation, liability, security, technology, cyber attacks, all that sort of thing. There's lots of just discussed and go through. 
and um, uh, I'll finish on um, uh, a little bit more about what we're doing in South Africa. <laughs>